this one. Okay, welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa meeting. We do hold these meetings bi weekly and we had the last one two weeks ago and here we are again. Um welcome to this meeting and if you check up um I would send the minutes the meeting minutes to the chat or anyone can help me do that too. Um, please add your name and also tell us what if you played a musical instrument which you would you like to play or if you even play one already um, if you want to find our github organization you can check on this link and our twitter please give us a follow on twitter we have um, a twitter handle for chaos africa so you can give us a follow um, on twitter and we like i said we run these meetings bi-weekly every thursday at 3 p.m wat west african time and we also record all these meetings so if you want to check out the past meetings we all record we have a playlist on youtube you can click on this link and you'd see i hope this doesn't play but you'd see all the uh, meetings we've had from the start it's all on this playlist, so you can always catch up on meetings if you missed anyone. So yeah, so we have um, a very full agenda item today. Um, like I said, if you if you are just joining, you can add your name to this list of attendees and tell us if you play the musical instrument, which you would play. For me, I'll play the piano. Uh, Denka said she'll play drums. Interesting. Nice. Okay, so let's jump into our agenda for today. I think we um, do have some new folks in the call. I kind of like introduced this. There are some people that have not really like introduced themselves. Um, I see Mary Blessing, you like to jump in and give a short intro and where you're joining us from. Um, yeah, sure. Thanks, Ruth. Um, so Mary Blessing, hopefully, and um, I am joining from Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. I'm a product um, and community manager. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you, um, Mary Blessing. Um, welcome to Chaos. I see there are two dots. I, I, I know one has introduced himself on this call before, but I think the one, dot two, do you want to really like to introduce yourself? Hi, Dotun. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, um, no problems. You can introduce yourself in the chat as well. So I would um, kick on to the next agenda item. Um, what's up? I'm trying to say something. Uh, I tried to do something. Okay, so I assume probably um while Belma was joining, you can, you know, if you want to say something, you can also unmute yourself later. Uh, sorry. Let me quickly put my phone on silence. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that cut. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the next agenda item. So um, the next what we have on the agenda is last week we started, um, we kind of started like a thing where people that have been contributing to chaos would, you know, come and give us a short, um, a short five minutes on their journey in chaos so far, how they stay contributing and then end it up with like a a short message for people that are trying to gain their feet and kind of contribute. Um, the idea of starting this was to kind of encourage other people that are trying to contribute to chaos to um, 
get motivated to contribute and also learn from others. So last week, um, I think myself and Precious did share our journey. You can check out the YouTube recording if you want to listen to that. But this week we are having um, Ade Inka and Anita. They're going to be giving us five, five minutes like story about their journey. So I'll start with Ade Inka, then Anita. So Ade Inka, you have the floor. Okay, thank you very much, Ruth. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, can you hear me clearly? Yep, loud and clear. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I have five minutes to do this. I'll try to be as quick as possible. I am Made Inka Oresonya. I'm a researcher, data analyst, and uh, I work as um, a data manager for a company in Europe. Uh, as a last year, I think I stumbled on open source and I kind of got interested because of a program that I was in um, last year. So it was um, a remote data science um, college and I got, <clears throat> I, I was taught data engineering and because so it has a little um, software engineering uh, side to it. We had to, you know, commit our codes and every other thing to GitHub and all of that. So it was pretty intense. And somehow I, I got to know what open source was all about. And I really got interested, but I didn't know how to start. Because in my head, what I thought was, okay, if you want to contribute to open source, you need to know how to be um, a badass coder, which was what even informed me to join Art School Africa School of Engineering, that okay, I want to learn um, JavaScript you know, know how to code object-oriented programming so that I'll, I'll be able to um, be involved in open source projects. And also last day, I, I um, applied for Hatrichi um, internship and I actually got approved for the first phase, but I got lost at the second phase because I didn't even know how to start. At the end of the day, I had to let it go. And I was like, I will keep looking out for how else I could actually start contributing to open source project. So this year, I just saw on Twitter um, a project called Chaos. And I said, well, um, if you're interested, we'll be having a meeting in June, uh, come join us. And I decided to sign up. And um, I've actually known Ruth from her for like what i mean is i've seen her on twitter i know she's doing well in the open source um, community and so for her to even be leading the project i was like okay wow uh, this is interesting someone like me is you know we have a, com a community that looks like me and by that i mean um nigerians other africans they are in this community so i'll be able to understand clearly and immediately what's needed to be done. So I think having a community um, actually helped with me sticking with chaos. And so I started from there and even though I didn't know the first thing about what chaos was all about, I decided to you know start reaching out to people. I reached out to Ruth and um, other people that I would love to know how to contribute because I really didn't understand what to do and um, they encouraged me to you know um, it's not only by coding alone so I decided to um, to join the channel for the researchers so that I could use contribute my research skills and it's been a lovely time um, since then I've worked with Ruth and Lamy um, to create um, survey to in order to discover uh, challenges that African contributors face when contributing to open source. And the fact that I was able to collaborate with other people in my own little way really motivated me. And um, I'm really, really uh, looking forward to doing more until I get my um, feet planted in the open source space. So what would I say to somebody joining us for the first time? I would say that reach out to people. Don't be shy. Don't, don't think um, nobody cares or they will think uh, I'm, I'm dumb and don't want to shit with me. No. I, I've noticed that the open source space is very welcoming and not just to me, even to other newcomers that came alongside with me at the same time. So people are free to ask questions. And that's one thing that is really lovely if you are free to ask questions. 
And then another thing is no matter how little, just start. Even if it's, it, it doesn't have to be code. It doesn't have to be even be um, documentation. It could be research. It could be community management. You know, if you, if you know you're good with um, relational skills and communication skills, you could actually talk um, well on Twitter or other SM, you know, just, just contribute in your own little way as you get to know more about the project. Right now, I, I just want to take my time, you know, work um, more on Chaos Africa, but also look at how I can contribute to the mother body, which is um, probably looking to her girl and, and see where, how I can contribute to my own quota also. So that's it from me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yeah, thank you very much, Adinka. And yeah, it's been awesome working with you. Um, okay. You know, Adinka started contributing, I think, around the same time Chaos Africa started, that was in June. So it's been really lovely working with you and, you know, using your, you've been applying your skill a lot as a researcher to Chaos Africa and Chaos in general. So thank you for, yeah, contributing. So I'll move to Anita. Um, thank you. Great story, Adenka. Hey, everyone. I'm Anita Ehiman, and uh, I'm a developer advocate and technical writer. I got into open source, I think, two years back. This year makes it two years back. So it has been an exciting journey since then, because I don't know if I was the only one that heard about it from open source Africa, but I know a lot of us heard about open source from open source community Africa. And that's where it all started. Then I got a hang of um, the She Code Africa Contribution Challenge. That was where I made my first pull request. I, it was the best moment um, to the better journey. So yes, that's where it all started. Then I got into layer five and um, I heard about chaos from Ruth because I think why we started the contributions here, we'd always do this thing where if anybody that finds an exciting community comes to share with the other person and like, I found something, I found something. So like that's just how the contribution between um, Ruth and I in open source started. And she showed me chaos and I was interested because it's, it's a big community, right? But what we did at the time was start with the smaller portion of the community, which was the diversity and inclusion badging initiative. I don't know if you've heard about it, but we started with a smaller portion and um, got got used to the community through the D, um, D and I budget initiative. And then we started getting into the main project itself, which is like the chaos general community. But my only advice so far would be like, it's, it's an exciting journey, open source generally, not just this community. Chaos is one, one small piece of the larger portion, but this community is an awesome one. And like I said, I just told you how we used to like encourage each other to contribute. That's like the energy I really expect from most of us here. So if you find an exciting thing that can get other persons engaged, that would help more persons, you should also drop it in the community so more persons can benefit from it. And if you're still new to the concept of open source and you don't understand what is happening, that is fine. We spent about two, three months before we got the hang of it all. And till today, we're still uh, unwrapping most of all of this. So yes, that's what open source is. It's a really, really big thing. And you can start with the smaller portion of the larger picture, just like we did, it, to help you understand the project in depth and also like gain your contributions from a more narrowed angle. I don't know if that helps, but yes, that's my journey. and. Um, I really hope to see all of us achieve the bigger picture as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Anita. Yeah, Anita just took me back to 2020. Yeah, we started contributing like the same period. And then when we, you know, we were, t we're always sharing things like, you know, we were sharing our difficulties basically because even while I told Anita about chaos, I was still trying to understand what chaos was then at, at that time. Like I was lost, basically lost. But, you know, sharing, we're at the same point of understanding how things were being done. So we were able to work together on so many things. And eventually, you know, from two, three people then in chaos, we're like this big group and then a chapter. So, yeah, we are, we are working, you know, 
a step ahead to make sure that everyone is able to contribute and everyone's able to participate. So this is the section for today. Next week, I'm going to invite in two other people. And when I mean two other people, I already know the people I'm going to invite in to come and talk about the con contribution. I'm going to be inviting Enoch. <laughs> Enoch and let's say Kinsley, yes, talk about their contribution journey because um yeah, there are there are also people that joined in this year. So get ready. I'm going to be in your DMs very soon, Enoch and Kinsley. So yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to share. Yeah, sure. So happy the, to hear the inspiring stories from the other people too. Yeah, sure. So would um would you know have their stories next. Um, the other week, um, I think that would be um the set the first week in September. So, um, mark your calendars for that. So yeah, another thing I also want to you know put out there as well is we get a lot of people that join in the Slack, um, every every other day, sometimes every day. So please, if you see someone joining the Slack, you can say hi to them. It also makes them feel welcome. Um. Because I noticed that I'm the only one that always says hi. So yeah, please do try to say hi when someone joins the Slack group and you know welcome them. It also makes them feel welcomed. And I, I think we can make it a culture to always, you know, saying hi to people that join the group so that they'll feel welcome into the community because that's what we are trying to do, make everybody feel welcome and included in the process. I see that there's a lot going on on the chat. Thank you, Precious, for answering a lot of those questions. Precious, oh, we have like two Preciouses here. So thank you, Precious, oh, for answering those questions and also all the communication that is going on in the chat. So yeah, so I think the next thing we have is the info session, uh, which I'm going to do a short presentation. I'll try my best because we do a lot of things at Chaos. So I'll try my best to make it as um as informative and you know as short as possible so I don't get to confuse anyone. So like I said, we have a lot of um people coming every day. Um, you know, and people are kind of like people are not on the same place with other persons. So I wanted to do this info session. I wanted to do it separately, but I thought about doing it on a community meeting um, because, um, you know, so that we can, there are a lot of people that join the community meeting so that everybody can contribute and everybody can participate in the conversation and everybody can benefit from it too. And this is recorded. So, other people that do not, are not here would be able to watch this later and understand a little bit about what chaos is and you know how to participate in chaos. So if you're just joining us, we have gone through um, the journeys of uh, Adenka and Anita that have been contributing to chaos for quite some time. Adenka said three months ago and Anita has been contributing for over two years. So the you can rewatch these recorded so you can rewatch it later. But we are on an info info session about what chaos is. So I'm going to just get started with that. So now chaos is an acronym first. That's one thing you should know. It's an acronym meaning community health analytics open source software. So and chaos is a Linux foundation project. Um, it's under the Linux foundation and Linux is an OS, an operating system. So you can Google the Linux Foundation. Linux Foundation has a lot of projects. So you can Google that later. Can everyone see my screen? Uh, yeah. Everyone? Okay, great. I don't great. know whether I'm everyone, but yes. <laughs> no problem. So I, I think everyone can see it. I, I think the Zoom annotations went off. So I thought I, I cut off. But yeah, so um, so chaos means chaos. Um, chaos means community health analytics open source software, and it's under the Linux Foundation, it's a Linux Foundation project. Um, basically, what we do here at Chaos is we we focus on how um, open source communities define health, right? So an, an open source project is definitely made up of people, so that the people make up the community. So what we do here at Chaos is we create metrics that. You know, these people can use to define health in their communities. 
And um, how do we do that? Or what is health in this in this sense? What is the typical um, explanation about what health is? Um, health could be contributor, um, contributions, how many contributions come in, what kind of contributions come in, talking about diversity, how people are being included, you know, talking about burnout, talking about value that an open source project gives to its contributors or to its community. So those are the health issues that we look at and we create metrics to kind of define how communities can define health, right? So we do this through different mediums. We work through different mediums. We work through um, working groups. We have different working groups like common metrics, um, diversity and inclusion, evolution. These these um, six groups are working groups that create metrics and each of these working groups have what they focus on. For example, the um, common metrics group, they focus on common, common things like um, occasional contributions or contributors, types of contributions that people make, create metrics around that diversity and inclusion creates metrics around um you know how communities can measure diversity and inclusion right are people being included is the community diverse are they welcoming you know there are a lot of um topics around diversity and inclusion these days and you know representing if people are being represented representation um you know all these topics are what um the diversity and inclusion working group you know talks about then you go to evolution, the life cycle of a of a software rigs. Um, what what kind of rigs an open source community is exposed to, or an open source software is exposed to value. What kind of value that um, you know metrics that define the value of an open source project, value the project gives to either the contributors or to like impact to a society. And then the app ecosystem also talks about the life cycle of a software. So all these things will feel like jargon, but um, when you when you dissect each and every one of these working groups, when you look deep into them, it will make sense, right? Because these are issues that are really, really important. So aside from the working groups, we also work, we also have software that do the main analytic work. So um, Augur and Grimoire Lab are two softwares that, you know, further down do analytics of, um, I think the basic way I, I can explain Augur and Grimoire Lab is just plugging in your um, GitHub repository and then it gives you analytics of what's um, maybe the contributions and a whole lot of other um, endpoints or something like that, right? So we also do have initiatives and these initiatives have come out of the working groups, like for example, the diversity and inclusion badging initiative came out of the diversity and inclusion working group, which is basically, um, you know, badging open source events and conferences, you know, vetting, not, not, not per se, not, let me not use the word vetting, but going through their practices and ensuring that they are, they, 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 um, use diverse and inclusive measures with the metrics we have created and then awarding them a badge a badge just that just like if you use github you you know um, about badges um there are different badges um sometimes github gives you a badge for making a first pull request or like even badging i can explain badging with even a a military badge or a, a badge for doing something you know when when people give badges is to award you for doing something unique Right. So um, in the case of diversity and inclusion, we we award badges to conferences and even projects. We are still on the project side of things. We are still bringing that up. Projects that ensure that um, their practices or their community, you know, they ensure diverse and inclusive practices. So in a wrap, that's all like that's how we work, the different ways we work. Now, how do you participate? Right. I think that's the main question. Now, if you go to this participate page, right, if you go to this participate page, there are different ways you can participate in chaos, right, through these working groups. Each and each of these working groups, they do have their specific meetings, right? They have meetings that if you check through this calendar, um, they have like meetings. Um, we have a chaos general meeting, a weekly meeting. We have, if you check each of those working groups, you'd see each of them have their specific meeting days. So participating will be choosing, first choosing which working group you want to be part of, right? And then 
um, participating in the respective meetings. Now, let me draw this down back to Chaos Africa. Now, Chaos Africa is a local chapter. Like, it's one of the chapters of, we have Chaos Africa, we have Chaos Asia Pacific. So those are the two um, local chapters we have at the moment. So Chaos Africa now, what we do here like at Chaos Africa is mainly, number one, we are focused on discovering unique challenges that Africans uh, African open source contributors face and creating initiatives around them using the chaos metrics we have, right? Because everything chaos talks about is community health, how people, how we can support people so we can use the model that chaos has created and apply to those unique challenges we find. And secondly, what we do again at Chaos Africa is now contribute to the larger chaos group. So there are two focuses in Chaos Africa. I don't know if that, that is clear enough. So we have a mission to discover unique challenges in Africa with African open source contributors. And we also have another part of helping people that are that want to that want to participate in the larger chaos group to participate in these working groups. So this is this is a kind of a, a summary of how chaos works and you know what chaos is so i i don't know if anyone has any question at this point maybe i'll take questions in in five for five minutes and then we'll go back to the next agenda item does anyone have any question about the not so complicated presentation I made. Um, hi, hi, Ruth. Yeah. Hey, okay, um, I just wanted to ask, does Chaos in a way um, maybe partner or collaborate with other open source communities, you know, to achieve all of its goals, like all oh, these goals you, this third you mentioned. Do you mean like Chaos Africa or Chaos in general? Uh, okay, which one now? Chaos Africa. Okay, I, I can answer for the two. I can answer for oh. the two. So for, for Chaos Africa, right, we, we just started, like we we started in, the chapter started in June. So we, at the moment, yes, we will, participate like with other like we will collaborate with other communities along the line when we re recently just launched out a survey and i have been in communications with other african open source communities to kind of um get their feedback i've been meeting with a couple of people in the last few weeks to participate with them you know get their feedback on like unique challenges they've seen so yes we will definitely do participate with other open source communities because we we cannot make decisions on our own then talking about the larger chaos group yes we do a lot of um, collaborations with other communities because then if you want to create metrics for people to define health you need to understand how they think about things you need to get their view you need to get their opinions all that kind of thing so we do participate with we do um, collaboration sometimes like depending on what we are focusing on we do collaborations with other open source communities to kind of like, get their feedback and all that stuff so yeah so the, the general answer is yes yeah uh, okay i mean that's that's, that's cool the answer is it. thank you okay if you're just joining us um i did like a very short let's say that is short i don't know but i did kind of like an info session on what chaos is about um this call is recorded so definitely i'll share the recording later and people can you know go back and look at that if you're just joining us but um does anyone have any question about you know anything about chaos for the meantime um before we move to the next agenda item Okay, I think silence means no. Okay, I, I guess that was 
my explanation was good but if you do not understand anything like if you still have like questions for me or for anyone like you can always reach out to me on the slack or you can drop it in the channel if you're comfortable with that so um it's like like i think like adinka and anita had said earlier it does take time to kind of understand things anita also said like it took us like three months when we joined to kind of understand everything about chaos or how things work like i've been here for like two years so that's why i'm able to like explain all these things very um you know in a very easy way but it's it takes time but you know starting from somewhere you know identifying where you want to start from or what interests you and starting from there gradually you get to like understand every um every other aspect and get to participate better so um also um i think something i forgot to touch upon was that when we started this group, we we kind of created different focus groups because we know that different people come in with their skill set, different people come in with, you know, some people are developers, some people are community managers, some people are product managers. So we we kind of like have um five about five focus groups. Um, if you check this link, um, you'd see we have like five um, focus group developers, um, designers, technical writers, product managers. I kind of merge product managers and community managers in the same group. Um, um, research researchers and um, you know UX writers. So if you are not in any like we have the Slack groups, they're like different Slack groups. Um, so we have if you're not annoying any of them and you want to be part of them you can message me like depending on your stack you can message me on the you can message me on slack and i'll add you if you're a developer i'll add you to the developer focus group and you can follow up on the conversation there so just message me directly and i'll do that adding i'll add you to the group and you can participate because sometimes we do have like separate meetings aside from this one so yeah i can add you to those meetings and those that focus group so yeah let's move to the next agenda item uh if you're just joining us uh, let me drop let me drop the uh minutes meetings please add your name and let us know if you play the musical instruments what's um what musical instrument if you could play what's one which one do you play? And if even though you play, you can tell us which one you play as well. Um, I'm going to drop the link in the chat again for people that are just joining. Um, so the next agenda item is um the Twitter space um recording. So last last week, was that last week or two weeks before? So we had a Twitter space um our first Twitter space. So if you navigate to this link, you're going to see it was recorded. We had um Ada and um Samson come talk to us about um challenges that African open source contributors face. That was like our first Twitter space. So if you missed it, you can always listen back. Um we did record it and it's also going to be on the YouTube. I extracted the Twitter space recording. So it's going to be on the YouTube um, for people to, you know, assess later. Cause I think um you um Twitter spaces have like 30 seconds, recordings have like 30 seconds uh, limits. Um I see people that are just joining so I'll keep pasting the agenda link. Um and any other person can also paste it and people can add in their names. I think everybody should be able to assess the agenda. So yep, um, so that's here. You can listen to the recording here. And also we the next does anybody have any question on the recording before I move forward? I think I've I've been the only one talking since. So let me pause for a minute. Yeah, you need a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i think um the twitter space was cool though um i think bolaji wasn't on the space and yeah. um and um um and Ada, Ada's voice yeah i know she said she was still at the office but her voice was so low and like i was actually struggling 
to hear some of the things she shared, but it was quite insightful. And maybe next time, and we didn't really have enough time for questions. Mm -hmm. in, you know, so I felt like things are kind of being rushed. I don't know, it's just my thoughts may be wrong, but then like, uh, because um, I feel like maybe we had people on the space that probably like, maybe they had questions and needed answers, you know. So despite the fact that they shared some information, but being able to address some of those issues probably go a long way. Perhaps our next space will be much better, but it was cool. Yeah, um, thank you for that feedback, um, Kingsley. And thank you, Uhoma. Uhoma was my co-host. So let me give you a little backstory of what happened that day on that Twitter space. So we had, I, I had that <laughs> feeling that it was a backstory. <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly let me give you the backstory of what happened that day so we we had um we had four speakers right and and unfortunately for us that day all the speakers like all the four speakers they had like emergencies like I'm so serious like Samson joined that space driving right Samson um like his car broke down and he needed to fix it so he couldn't get home before the space started and um Miss Ryame, her, um, she had issues with her eyes and she had to go to the doctor. Ada was in an office, um, in an office outing, like an emergency office outing. And Bolaji, that day was Bolaji's birthday. So Bolaji had like um, an emergency thing to attend to. So all the speakers had something to do that day, like an emergency, right? And it was, I had to like do something like, please can you join the space and he joined the space while he was driving right like he was driving on the highway and was joining the space I don't know how something did it so that day was kind of like you know upside down and because we had done a lot of um, publicity around it I didn't want to I really did not want to cancel and I really did not want to reschedule the space so I just went along with the two speakers that could join another had to like talk like she was in an office, you know, an office setting. So she couldn't, um, and I'm really grateful that they were able to join in and still share their insights. But, and um, to the other point about, you know, I, I think um, th that space was focused on, was focused on hearing challenges from their perspective. So I think our, our next space will be focused on what open source is so that people are, will get to like ask questions and you know contribute to the conversation so yeah thank you so much for that feedback it's the end yeah that's the backstory that happened that day on that twitter space that's almost drove me crazy but i i i i'm glad that everything everything went well at the end of the day i think um with what you just explained then what we had was much better than maybe calling it off because uh probably would be difficult to get people's attention if you just publicize something and then call it over at the 11th hour, you know, understand stuff like this. It's a little bit crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was really hard calling it off because we had done so much, you know, publicity around it. And if, and people had set their reminders for the space, so it would have been so... It's have been so bad to call it off and now that's another one again. But I think next time we'd have like backup speakers in case anything happens. Exactly. And that will work. Okay. Um, does anyone have any other feedback before we move to the next agenda item? okay um i i think i see i think we are going to take a little bit of break i see some new people that joined hi catherine do you want to introduce yourself hi clinton i think if you want to say hi um hi ruth and hi everyone yeah you can um, yeah uh, yeah, my name is Catherine. I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. And yeah, I'm happy to be here. I look forward to, to a lot of growth with uh, open source and chaos. Okay, great. Thank you, Catherine, for joining us. Um, hi, Clinton. Do you want to say hi?
you can use the chat to um okay hi ibuka i don't think you've joined before maybe a short intro hi hi, hi. yeah i'm on the road actually okay uh, yeah yeah you can barely hear but you can just see where you're joining us from and what you do all right um i'm joining from lagos um um i'm a full stack web developer and um, yeah i'm looking into cloud and learning some cloud development and also looking how i can how i can contribute to open source you know yeah, how I can contribute to yeah, and you know, join the community, having community of people that also contribute to open source that also motivates you to you know do more with open source, collaborate with each other, exchange ideas, and learn from others. Okay, uh, thank you for joining us, Ibuka. Definitely, you definitely find where to participate in chaos. Um, I know Enoch has been doing some cloud work. Sorry, Enoch, for calling you out, but. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I definitely think you find something to participate in. Um, hi, Aminat. I'm not sure I've seen you on the call before. So do you want to just give a short intro? Okay, you can, you can use the chat if you're not available to speak. Um, let's see. And then there's some hi, Oliver. Do you want to give a short intro as well? Hello, Roots. Hi, everyone. Um, hope you guys can hear me. Yes, we can all yeah, can hear you. Yeah. So my, my name is Oliver. Um, back in, I'm back in. I'm calling from uh, Portacourt, Nigeria. I'm a backend developer in training, and I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm happy to learn from you guys and see how I can contribute to open source and quite better myself. Thank Great. You. Thank you. Backstory. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I saw, the, I saw that name, and I was like, uh, well? <laughs> okay welcome oliver yeah hi victoria i think i don't think victoria joined our our africa community call before so hi do you want to introduce yourself is it my own victoria yes you are the only victoria here <laughs> i did not know <laughs> i did not yeah, check Kevin. i did not know okay hi everyone Good afternoon. I am um, introduction. Oh yeah, I am Victoria. I'm a product designer, specializing in accessibility and AI. I'm currently learning machine learning. Um, um yeah, I think that's that's basically nothing. Not where are you interesting. From? Oh, where where am? What? Where are you joining us from? Oh, I'm joining from Akwaibom, Nigeria. I'm joining from Uyo, Nigeria. I think that's better. Uyo, Thank Nigeria. You. Thank you. Um, I think hi Unzube Chika. I think I've seen you. Uyo, London. Uyo in it? Zimbabwe. <laughs> Uyo is just in Nigeria. Hi, Uyo, Uyo Zimbabwe. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> um Unzube, if you can use the chat to that's also fine um if you don't want to speak at the moment okay so um we are back to the agenda item so um i would love everyone to take a survey um please this will just take like two to three minutes of your time. Um, I would love you to take this survey. So we put together the research focus group. Um, we put together this survey to, to kind of get feedback from 
open source contributors or people that have not even contributed to open source that are in tech on challenges they've been facing. So with this research, we are going to like do a lot of um, this. This would give us a lot of feedback to how we would work or which challenge, um, which challenge we would start with. So please, if you have this, this is for everyone, everyone that is in tech. It's not just focused on open source contributors or people. Um, so please, you can, this is the link to the form. You can, it just takes like two to three minutes of your time. So if you can, please fill it for us. We have like 23 people here. So if you have not filled it, please, you can fill it for us and also share it in like tech groups that you're in. If you're in any tech group, we also love to get, you know, um, feedback from people that are not Nigerians as well, like other African communities. Please do share the form. And we definitely love to, if you know of any community, I can speak to maybe their leader to share the form there and to talk to them about the form. You can also message me. I would definitely love to do that, to connect with other African uh, communities and share the form. So we need to get a lot of responses so that we'll start working. So please fill the form. I, I definitely want to see a lot of other responses we have 26 responses now so i would definitely love to see more responses share the form fill it anybody that is in text or share it with them it's just two to three minutes and yeah we have feedback so um does anyone have any question on the form or anything as regards it or any feedback No feedback from me. No. Okay. Okay, since um, no feedback, okay, but just one tax for everybody. Yes, I just remember that Anita had this other tax one time, la the last meeting to bring someone that it, not from your country. I, I know we got... Yeah, we got a lot of people um joining our Slack then. So thank you, Anita. But I think Catherine is part of I think Precious O. Um Precious brought in a lot of people. So thank you, Precious. I don't think she's on this call. Um, Precious O for you know publicizing and talking about Chaos Africa and getting a lot of people to join. So thank you so much. And yeah. If you have a friend that is in another country, in another African country that you want to be part of this call, please, we have the Slack link. We can share it with you to share to them to be part of Chaos Africa. So that's it for the form. Then I wanted to, you know, show us our new logo. Um, we, We've had a lot of variations for this logo, like a lot of deliberations. Initially, we wanted to have the map um you know in between but um something around representation right having the map um having chaos africa in the map cuts out some countries so we just decided to go with this but we'd be having variants of the logo where we'd have like the full map in colors of chaos so this is our new sub logo for chaos africa so and um, it was Maxwell that put this together. So thank you, Maxwell, for putting this together. And this would be like the new Chaos Africa logo. So yay. Does anybody well have done, any Maxwell. Does anybody have any feedback on this? I think it's okay. The logo is very nice. It's not okay. far from the um the general logo so it doesn't seem like uh, chaos africa it's just an entity on its own yeah so i think this is okay yeah okay thank you very much um yeah so i think Zube is asking for the form let me just quickly paste the form link um where is it again Yep, so this is the link to the form on the page. You can assess it from here. Let me know if you can't assess this. Um, thank you everyone for your feedback on the logo. So would I th I think I would update the the Chaos Africa Twitter um to this. Uh and then the next thing we have is 
I wanted to really quickly show everyone, you know, I think I did add this um, as a video on the Slack on how to add the Chaos Africa meeting, like this meeting to your calendar. So I don't always have to remind you um, to do it. So let me quickly do that. I did, I did it on the Slack, but I'll also do that on this meeting so that you get to be reminded of this meeting. You go to chaos.community and go to the participate, click on the participate page. And when you click on this page, it's going to bring, you scroll down to the calendar, right? And this meeting, just look for the meeting Chaos Africa. So if you click on Chaos Africa, you click on copy to my calendar. So if you go to copy to my calendar, it navigates to your Google calendar. And then you set it to, to custom, to repeat every two weeks. Because if you just set it, save it, it's just going to repeat for that time. So if you set it to repeat every two weeks, you click on done and then you save it. So once you save it, um, you're going to have the meeting, you're going to have the meeting in your calendar. So every two weeks you get reminded of the Chaos Africa meeting. So, so that you get to um, see this meeting on your calendar and prepare towards it. And so that I do not have to always like, you don't get to miss the meeting. So you, if you can do that, um, maybe after this call, it would be great so that you get to um, participate in all the meetings on time and prepare for the meetings too. And you also feel free to add in, add in any questions you have on this or any agenda topic you want to talk about. Um, this is open for everybody to assess. The, the link is open. If you can't assess it, just let me know. I'll definitely find a way to give you access to the doc. Um, so you can always catch on the meeting and the meetings are recorded. If you check on this, the top of the agenda, you'd see um, the meeting recordings. You can check them out. You have like a playlist. After this meeting, we'll update it with this one. So please, you can catch up on all the recordings here. I think we had a question um, about how from Mary Blessing. Is Mary Blessing still here? I think so, yeah. So um, Mary Blessing was asking how can um, a community and product manager contribute effectively? Um, so with that focus group I talked about earlier, you can be part of the focus group. There are a lot of products here. There are a lot of things that really need, uh, you know, community management help, like... Um, I am managing the community right now, so I definitely need someone that, you know, throw ideas together, you know, and manage the community better. There are also a lot of things that would need product management help, so you can join the focus group. It's called um, Chaos Africa Dash CM on the Slack. So if you join it, you can participate in the, in our, we've not had a meeting in a while. Um, because I've had like a lot of things going on, but um, we'll definitely have a meeting and talk about more of these things. Um, so yeah, I hope I did answer your question. I think there are some people that I even answered earlier on. Did I answer your question? Um, Mary Blessing. Yeah, yeah, you sure did, Ruth. Thank you so much. I would reach out to you on Slack if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. That's that's fine with me. Um, yes. so, so before we are we are almost uh, of the hour for this. Um, does anyone have any other question? We have like two more minutes. And yeah, we are looking for a facilitator for next meeting. Who would love to facilitate next week? It's very easy. It's just going through the agenda item. So who would love to facilitate next week? Okay, um, Ruth, I have a question. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So, my question is like, when when will we be like um contributing to maybe open source? Like, when when will we when will we get our hands on working on open source project? Like, how how will it begin? On like me, like I'm a back end engineer. So, how will it begin? On like me get my feet because most times when I look at all these code bases guy or more, I say, yeah, I want to do this one. So what are the tips? Like, I don't know, maybe <clears throat> what are the tips? So just tell me. 
Okay, sure. Um, so for you, like as if I will speak directly to you, right? Um, what what particular language do you write? Okay. Um, I use um JavaScript, Node. Okay, let me just say Node and TypeScript. Node and TypeScript. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, I I don't I think um me the 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 Slack bot is built with JavaScript, right? Okay. Yeah. So. Um, we yes. do have yes yeah okay so for um the slack bot is built with javascript so i can connect you with me day and because we are we are almost we are at the time of another meeting so would want to end this off but um definitely um new contributions are kind of like welcome and i'll connect you with me day because me day um and precious built the slack bot and was with JavaScript, and definitely there are, there are some improvements we want to make with the Slack bots. So definitely you'd you'd really um be able to contribute there as a as a beginner um to the Slack bot. So I'll connect you with me this in the way. That's fine. Are you on the Slack with this name? Okay, I think my Slack name is um Backend Bro. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. I'll chat you up and connect you with um Midi. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yes, we have a new a next facilitator join now. So I'm adding your name quickly. And thank you everyone for joining this meeting. Um, Enoch also said you should reach out to him, um, Mzube. So you can also reach out to Enoch. Thank you everyone for please. joining. Please, I didn't um, get the name. Yeah, Enoch. You can reach out okay, to Enoch. Enoch. Yes, right, Enoch. Right. I'll connect you with Enoch too. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for joining and we are right in time to end off the Chaos Africa meeting and let the value working group meeting continue. So bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Nice to see everybody. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye everyone. Hey, Sean. Uh, hey, Nico. How are you doing? Yeah, good. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> but, good to see uh, you. Hi, Nico. Hey. I thought I'd, I'm, I'm going to join the Chaos uh, Conference in Dublin. So I thought I'd awesome. say hi in, uh, in the weeks before. Great. Welcome. See what you guys up to. Are you going to go to Chaos Con? Are you going? Yeah. Right yeah. on. And my colleague is coming with us. So uh, I said, this is a great community. We have to go there. So. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well, you can tell your colleague I just ordered coffee and pastries. So, if, and I'm hoping nice. to bring t-shirts as well. So <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't get to see you. I have to have foot surgery. So I chose a more fun endeavor. What can I say? <laughs> I'm actually not 17 anymore, which is how one breaks one's foot at this age, is acting like they're younger than they are. Okay, should we start? Uh, yeah, I can start the, re oh, we've been recording all the way through, so I'm gonna start. There we go.